Hello and welcome back to 1991 and in honour of me watching the MCU movies uh, or during lockdown um, with the family, I've decided to return to about the first coin-op machine that I actually completed. The only coin-op game I think that I must have played through to the end because I don't think I've done it with any others. Um, actually on the coin op, not talking about conversions, but which is Captain America and the Avengers. Um, this <laughs> machine was, it's looking a lot less impressive than I thought. <laughs> this is one of three machines in my local um, leisure centre. Um, it was this, Golden Axe and Street Fighter 2. So a pretty good selection. And I remember coming out of swimming and probably spending more time on the arcade machines than actually exercising, which says a lot about me back as a teenager and probably explains why I was a bit of a chubster back then. Right. So, nice little demo screen here. Um, I mean, fairly bland looking. It's just showing up for your four player, four playable characters. This was a four-player game. Um, I'm not sure if the machine I saw, though, was only built for two players. So maybe there were old, there were variations of them. So nice little int introduction to the characters and that laugh. I remember that laugh. That laugh sound effect. Um, I was never never really a big comic book fan. Well, I loved comic books when I was younger, but not of Marvel comics. I don't think I read many Marvel comics. I think when I was little, I read the Beano, the Dandy and Transformers. Let's be... Let's be Cap. So what's selection here? They've got the Vision first. I'd never heard of the Vision. I'd heard of Captain America and Iron Man. Never heard of Hawkeye. I played all four characters, and as far as I remember, let's, let's look at this. So, a brief story, told in sort of sort of comic style, little comic book frames. Not particularly interesting, and not very good artwork actually. Um, the backgrounds are quite nice in these sort of pastely sort of shades makes the character stand out all the characters in much much stronger primaries primary colors with strong outlines so actually i like kind of like that part of the design um 1991 art wise though in terms of the graphics look a little bit more primitive especially the sprites the character sprites a lot more primitive than some of the games I'm kind of been used to at this at this stage. And 91, what were we playing back then? <laughs> Arabian, yeah, Arabian fights. Um, Cadillacs and dinosaurs, was that later? Aliens vs Predator? Yeah, the Capcom... Nice cheesy bit of co comic book storytelling here. Um, oh, it's kind of frustrating this. You've really got to get the patterns down right. And some of it seems a bit random how they're hitting me. Um, control wise and interface wise, it's certainly not. It's not as po it doesn't feel as polished actually as some of the other games I've been playing. Um, Arabian Fight, Arabian Magic, particularly stand out. When I got made mince meat out, blah, 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 blah. oh gosh, oh can change character. Let's be the Vision. Let's see if um, yeah, he's basically the same. I couldn't get the missile. How do you do the ranged combat? The ranged combats. 
I don't know if they deliberately made it a little bit awkward, a bit of button presses, just to, so you don't keep spamming it and it is about getting there into hand to hand. Nice bit of platforming element going on here. Yeah, you basically, you've got your jump attack, your kick, your punch, your throw, and a little bit of a ranged one, ranged attack that's unique, but otherwise actually all, I vaguely remember all four characters playing the same. And I did actually play this through to the end. I'm not sure what inspired me to. <laughs> Probably because it was better than any video game I had at home at this time. Um, I was rocking an Atari 520 ST, so... I remember... Yeah, I vaguely remember all of the voices. I think it seems like they've got one voice actor doing everything. <laughs> Unless I'm very much mistaken. It's... Anyway, you... I was not familiar with any of these characters. Um, so I had no real sort of investment in this as a character-driven game, but... It's quite fun, the music is quite jazzy and everything and I must say they do pack a punch some of these enemies. It's quite tricky. It's a bit I remember it being a bit of a coin soak. Yeah. Reminds me if there was an Avengers or Captain America cartoon series on TV around this time. I don't know how old it was. I remember it being very primitive animation. <laughs> I think it was like, it was deliberately in a comic book style, i.e. had like two frames of animation going on. It was basically a narrated series of comic book stills. Let's be Hawkeye. always think Hawkeye gets a bit of a, a bad rep. I think of all the characters actually in the new Marvel movies. All the ones I'm familiar with anyway. That He's one of the main ones that lost his costume. Certainly a lot more like a sort of purple, purple arrow. <laughs> purple version of Green Arrow from the DC comics. Um, no, I quite like his character in the, um, in the films. I kind of like the fact that he's sort of a more of a down-to-earth type character. Um, yeah, obligatory, obligatory on, on rails, shooty section. Yeah, I've read Goomer. I think the Vision and Cap, um, not Captain America, um, Iron Man fly onto their own power. And Captain America and Hawkeye have to take these little jet bikes. Ugh. God, what are these suicide diving suits? Kamikaze diving suits. <laughs> um, yeah, I... This is about the second time I've given this a go, actually, with the emulator, which... And... I remember being vaguely disappointed the first time I played it. Playing it now, actually, it's not that bad, actually. Um, it's it's better than some of the other games I've been playing. Um, it's got a lot of character and personality, I think. It's it's inspiring me to... Um, yeah, it's inspiring me to play through it as a story. It makes it. It makes a difference to have having playing as a playable character that's that have a little bit more personality than, than something a bit more stock. Um, artwork isn't bad actually. It's they're definitely a bit primitive. They've got these awful, very heavy black outlines to the characters. Oh, this is interesting actually. Nice bit of variety with the enemies at least. They've got some good characters going on here and they, they kind of stand out and they're kind of memorable. Um, 
I do wonder if um, the artwork is kind of primitive because often one of the problems these games had at this era, the developers would spend so much money on obtaining the license that... Um, Oh, let's be Iron Man. Go on. Yeah, see, Iron Man's flying around here. Um, that they wouldn't be left with much money to pay artists or developers to do the game. But you know, so they've got the designs down. And the animation. The animation's good for all the sort of the crudity of the actual drawings. They've got some nice poses with the character. Yeah, give this one a go, actually, I think. I know this one got a lot of... Um, got conversions on most of the consoles i think i had to look at the mega drive version of this as well and um it's actually a fairly faithful adaptation though the the artworks it's even a step down from this oh quicksilver oh so we did have some of the x-men was the, was quicksilver one of the x-men always um uh, because i do wonder if I've realised I haven't been using my ranged attack. There we go. Who, ha if different licences to different um, IP were held. Is he, is, oh, is he going to have the same laugh? No, nope. oh, he doesn't laugh. Yeah, did the X Men and the Avengers have different rights holders at this po at this point in time? You know, Capcom were doing the whole Capcom Marvel thing. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm going to call this one a day now in a minute, I think. Let's just beat him and see where we go after this guy. I must say, I've part, I was always much more of a Batman fan. If I was going to read comic, superhero comics, I did get into the Batman series around this time. Um, mainly because of the Nightfall story arc. And so a lot of the Marvel comics kind of passed me by because then I moved straight on to Vertigo and The Crow and all that moody teenage stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I must say, having watched the MCU movies, they do, and, and the X-Men movies, I do prefer the, the Marvel stable of characters much more than the DC ones in some way. Grim Reaper. See, I have no idea who really any of these characters are. Challenging the bottom of the sea. Yeah. Okay. Nice little mix of settings. Reusing the same enemies, but it nips, it goes on quite a whizzy little pace. Actually, I haven't felt myself getting bored with this game. I think the pacing of it is actually quite notably good it's the levels are pretty short but they're actually slightly more challenging than some of the other games i've played design wise um you've got a good sort of mix of enemies on screen at once some of which use ranged attacks and melee fighters and so there's a good sort of amount of um of of crowd control and tactics going on which Which just sort of keep you interested and it's not sort of like growl I was playing the other day, which was just waves and waves and waves and waves of the same three or four enemies. This one actually it has a small number of small selections of these enemies that are a little bit challenging and then in space with bosses. And I suppose that's actually one of the interesting things. The good things about um, comic book had some mariner. See, so like Iraqi man or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, how does he? Why has he got fire underwater? Anyway, um, I must say, Growl's bosses and enemies are pretty uninspired. But you've got this already-made roster of quite interesting bosses, so it's good that they've um, based the design of this game around around these sort of sort of various miscellaneous bad guys 
So I'm presuming it will... I'll get through this in a minute. So I'll add another sort of mini boss in a... Not far off. Here we go. So here we go. And you've also... It's not sort of completely out of... Um, out of theme to have you have your characters fighting these huge robots or machine war machines and things so it's definitely something that's got going for it in this way in this game has in terms of um yeah just enemy variety which is i think it's really essential because it's one of the things that's been kind of putting me off some of the other games okay i'll leave it with <laughs> destroying the robot octopus. Oh, we're still not out of the level. See, that's what I mean. This is it's quite interesting. Just a variety of stuff on here. Really got that must one. Just one more go. Carry on playing. Incentive to it. It's quite an exciting little game. I, I can see actually now why I stuck with this. Okay. I was actually prepared to be thinking of giving this one a really quite scathing little little review, but you know what? I like this. Okay, I'm going to call it a day here. Well, at least for this one. Let's move on to something else. See you later.